What's going on you guys? Mike Zhang at Mike Zhang Fitness. I've got a special guest today, Chris Lopez, founder and CEO of the Alpha Dad Project. He is a kettlebell specialist and today he's got something amazing to show us. Okay, so we're gonna teach Mike today how to swing a kettlebell properly. One of the biggest misconceptions about the kettlebell swing is that it's a squat kind of hybrid and people have a tendency to swing overhead, right? Swing is a big expression of power and one of the things that you really have to focus on when you're swinging is maintaining technique and making sure that you've got a high carryover to whatever athletic activity you're doing, okay? So the swing is actually a series of high-speed deadlifts. So what we want to really try to do is clean up the swing and make it as applicable to any type of athletic endeavor that people are trying to do. So like sprinting or jumping or um, anything like that. So anything athletic, the swing will have a high carryover for. And then because of that, if you take a look at athletes and their physiques, they've got incredibly lean physiques, incredibly muscular physiques, and the kettlebell swing will help you project that or help you get that, provided that you do it properly. So I was talking to you before about how all of this is just about technique and maintaining technique, perfect technique. So here's the first thing that I'm going to need you to do before you swing. Now, you'll see most people pick up a kettlebell and then start to swing like this. Right? When in actuality, a swing is a hinge. So you want to take the bell and swing like uh, that. I see. And you can notice that I'm almost pulsating and really driving tension every time that I come up and stiffening my body because I want to be able to drive and create power uh, through that kettlebell. If you think about a vertical jump, right? Yeah, You're never yeah. going to come down and then try to jump up slow. You right. bring yourself down and then you fully extend and you do it with power. Uh, the kettlebell swing is the exact same thing. So let's give that a shot. Cool. So what I want you to do is grab the kettlebell, maybe from the side there, and I've got Mike set up on the side. And I want you to stand up straight first. And this is what the finish should look like. Obviously the kettlebell is down here. When Mike uses his hips and his power to extend, that kettlebell is gonna float up here. But right now, because Mike's stationary, he's gonna finish here. So Mike, what I want you to do is I want you to Take your kneecaps and pull them up into your crotch. You're gonna contract your quads really tightly. So stand up straight, good. Now you're gonna squeeze your glutes nice and tight. And I'm checking Mike's glutes to make sure that they're tight. His abs are gonna be tight, so imagine you're about to take a punch. I know what Mike, well, you probably give the punches more than you take them, right? And then you're gonna draw your shoulders down and back, and I want you to fire your lats at the same time. So the position that Mike is in right now is called the root position. It's the foundational position, and this is the position that I want him to finish the kettlebell swing in, okay? So every time that you come up to swing now, when you finish, I want you to try to mimic this position. All right, Bye. cool. That's position number one. Second thing, put the kettlebell down. Good, and I want you to lay it down in front of you slightly. Awesome, okay? You're gonna keep your hands on the bell. And now what I want you to do is lift your butt up just a little bit, drop your shoulders down and back, grab the kettlebell by the handles and tilt it towards you a little bit, okay? So Mike is in the hinge position here. This is what the start of his swing is going to look like. And what I want Mike to, all I want you to do now, Mike, is I want you to swing the kettlebell between your knees and then you're going to stand up explosively into that root position that I had you in. Okay? So let's do that. Good. That's perfect. So put the kettlebell back down with the hinge. Good. So now do that again. Perfect. Good. And bring it down. So Mike is doing a dead stop swing right now. He's putting the kettlebell down in between each one. Grab the kettlebell again, Mike. Now what I want you to do is imagine that you're playing football and you're trying to hike past the kettlebell to the quarterback. When it gets right up there to where your butt is, as soon as you feel that, I want you to stand up explosively, okay? So hike it and stand up, perfect, good. So you can see how the kettlebell almost floated. It's almost weightless, all right? So now what I want you to do is I want you to do that continuously. Start with a bell at the bottom there. You're gonna hike past and then you're gonna stand up explosively. Keep your hands on the bell. Good. All the way up. Perfect. Now think about keeping your butt high and back. That's it. Good. And you can see now Mike's got a nice continuous float with the kettlebell and it's a series of high speed deadlifts. He's maximizing power every time he comes up. Give me about three more there, Mike. Perfect. And park that kettlebell. That was a good one. Yeah, so that's one of it. the best ways to clean up your kettlebell technique is just turning it into a hinge instead mm -hmm. of a squat. Absolutely, I can feel it in my glutes a lot too. That's the beauty of the kettlebell swing. It works your posterior chain, yeah, that's which great. is probably one of the most neglected muscle groups Absolutely. that you'll get, especially if you sit at a desk Absolutely. or if you're on your butt all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. There we have it. How to do a kettlebell swing with Chris Lopez.